Welcome to Holy Trinity Catholic Church. As we reopen our door in phases, here are some procedures that will keep you and others safe during Mass. Before you arrive for Mass, please wash your hands at home. And for those age two and up, per CDC guidelines, face masks will be required. Our nursery will not be open during this time. When you arrive at church, please place your mask over your face as you are exiting your vehicle. Please arrive 15 minutes before Mass begins to stand in line. The main doors of the church will open 15 minutes prior to Mass. Our ushers will be available to seat your family. Every other pew will be closed, marked with a white chain. You may be sharing a pew with another household. A distance of six feet is required between the households. You will see a mark denoting every six feet on each available pew. The center sections will be filled first, followed by the sides. If there is need for an overflow, you will be ushered to Loretta Hall. There will be no standing in the sanctuary, narthex or vestibule. If we reach our limited capacity allowed at this time, you will be asked to attend another Mass or watch Mass online. I'd like to share with you some of the procedures during Mass. Please keep your mask, your face mask on for the duration of Mass. No physical contact during the sign of peace or the Lord's Prayer. Baskets will not be passed during the offertory. You will be able to place your weekly gift in the baskets placed at the back of the church. Please consider giving online. Now I'd like to share some procedures for Holy Communion. Per Archbishop Hartmar, we strongly urge you to receive Holy Communion in your hand and to use sanitizer before and after you receive the host. Father Pavel and my doctors have recommended that we do not distribute communion on the tongue at this time. And so for uniformity, extraordinary ministers of Holy Communion will distribute in the hand also. Please be understanding. The precious blood will not be offered to the congregation at this time. We will be distributing only communion two sections at a time. Sections one and three will be first, followed by sections two and four. Ushers will assist in ushering each section. When it's your turn to receive Holy Communion, please stand up and move to the aisle when directed to do so by your usher. Please maintain social distance between you and the communicants in front and behind you. You will see marks on the floor denoting six feet. When you step up to the priest to receive Holy Communion, keep your mask on. After the priest has offered you communion in the hand, step to the side, remove your mask and consume the Eucharist. Then place your mask back on and return to your seat.
Now I'd like to share some procedures for departure. After the final blessing, parishioners must remain in their pew. Pews will be dismissed row by row, starting with the back row and then moving forward. You must exit your pew when prompted by your usher. Unfortunately, private prayer is not available after Sunday Masses to allow the church to be reset and disinfected for the next Mass. All exits will be utilized. Our priests and deacons will not shake hands as you exit. Now I'd like to share some of our church cleaning procedures. We will continue to implement cleanliness and sanitization practices, including cleaning pews regularly, disinfecting bathrooms, door handles, and other frequently touched surfaces which happen throughout the day. Please follow CDC guidelines regarding your own health. If you fall into an at-risk category, please stay at home and join us by live stream. And please remember that the dispensation from Holy Mass, if you are not able to come, still exists. So we'd like to thank you for your cooperation and patience during this very difficult time.